Coming up on the Glow Sports Corner, a look more at the women's volleyball team. Julia Claire Plesbert comes down to the studio to talk about the softball team in her second year. And Beatrice Medigan talks about her first year with the Maple Leafs. All that's coming up on the Glow Sports Corner. Welcome to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton. The Goshen College women's volleyball team is now in full swing in conference play. They picked up their first conference win in the past Friday against Spring Arbor University. Here's Josh Taylor with more on the story. The Goshen College women's volleyball team secured their first conference win of the season over Spring Arbor University. Coach Courtney Crawford in her first season talks about her new transitions. Um, the toughest part would probably be so many injuries up front. I knew that they obviously happen, but I feel like a bunch of my kids got hurt back to back to back. So trying to put people in positions they haven't played in a while or having people play positions they've never played, um, that's probably been the toughest thing um, about coming into coaching so far. Crawford gives coaching point of views to her players of how to compete throughout the season. Um, it's crunch time. That's what we've been telling ourselves. Like It's, time, it's now or never. Um, we're sitting at nine, unfortunately, right now, so every... Uh, match and everything we do needs to be extremely intentional and with a lot of purpose. Um, we just got to keep being healthy for one and um, taking everything that we learn in practice and translating that into matches. Crawford then talks about her goals for the team this season and how they have worked towards them. Team wise our goals I don't think that we fully met them. We we're dabbling in them a little bit um, but I don't want to base the success on our season off if we met goals or not. Um, I feel like that'd be too harsh on myself as my first year too. But I can tell you that their girls are completely different than they have been or they were since preseason. Um, things are starting to smooth out. We're getting there. Um, it's not quite where we wanted to be, but we know that if we keep writing out what we're doing now. It's going to get better. For Globe Sports, I'm Josh Taylor. The team is currently 6-15 and 15 in the regular season and 1-8 and in Crossroads League. When we return, I will talk with head coach Julia Claire Plesbert to get her thoughts on the team. All that's coming up next on the Globe Sports Corner. I work for the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton, and to my left, I have Julia Claire Plesberg the head coach for the Goshen College softball team. Coach, thank you for coming down to the studio. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, and some things that we just wanted to know is, so, so it's your second year. How does that translate from your first year? What are some things that you learned that you can develop for the rest of your career? I'm excited. Um, I think that we are just getting our feet wet in January when I came in and learning our processes this fall. It's been a lot of fun getting to know the girls more on a deeper level versus just softball and bringing the team together and having just a different feel for our team and building the foundation for us. Yeah, and now in your second year, you're able to do some recruiting. So how did you like the yes. recruiting process? It's awesome. Yeah, we brought in 10 new players. Um, we have four transfers, one from a um, four-year and three JUCO transfers, and then we have six new freshmen. So a big group, um, basically a uh, whole half our team is new. So it's been fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so two, so 10 uh, new players. Yes, a, a big and 12 mix. returning. Okay, and yep. 12 returning. So what do you like expect out of your JUCO players because they've had college experience compared to those six freshmen that, that didn't? Yeah, uh, definitely a lot of leadership um, in our JUCO class. Um, they're definitely learning our system, our processes, and they're stepping up as players and just trying to be that leadership role and mesh into what Goshen softball looks like. Yeah, for sure. And you had Jessica Bachtel last year who won Maple Leaf Rookie of the Year of All Athletics, was, which is very impressive. So, yeah. so how do you plan on like, tapping that potential more, t trying to take her to the next level? She's an awesome kid. Um, keeping her hard work and just tweaking a few things. We're rocking and rolling and excited to see what she'll do as long as with the team. Yeah, and final question is, you're currently playing some fall ball right now. Mm -hmm. uh, my main question is, so like, how does that translate from fall to spring? I love fall because that shows us, one, we're building our trust, getting to know each other, but also 
discovering what we need to work on now um, and tweaking as we go to make sure we're ready for our spring when we can, when it comes. Yeah, and does is there any, um, with Christmas break coming in, you have uh, a month between, does that mess up any chemistry or is it still kind of smooth sailing once you get back, like get back going? No, they're, they get to know each other and they know each other as a team, so that doesn't change. It's just shaking off some of the rust that they might get in a month and going right at it come spring. All right. Thank you, Coach, for coming down. Really Thank appreciate you. you. And uh, good luck to your season. Thanks. When we come back, I'll be with Beatrice Metagame to talk more about her first year as a Maple Leaf. That's up next on the Glow Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. To my left, I'm with Beatrice Minigame, junior midfielder for Goshen College women's soccer team. Beatrice, thank you for coming down. Thank you for having me. So you've really been playing great for the Maple Leafs so far, and this is your first season for the Maple Leafs, but you also are a transfer. So can you tell us about that process of coming over from your community college to here? Um, I was um, looking around, like, to find a good school, and I found Goshen. I'm glad that I found it because... Um, I love this school, um, I love my teachers and my teammates, the girls are great, everyone is very connected. And coming from junior college to NAIA um, was kind of not a shock, but um, very different the level of the soccer and also the coach too. Yeah, and you also come from a different country and you haven't been in the States very long. Can you just tell us like where you're from and just Kind of like how that process of coming from a different country, learning a new language, and also still playing the sport you love. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm from Brazil, and I have been here like two years and a half, three years. And it was very nice because I came here with a really like, not bad English, but my English was not enough to take some um, English American classes yet. So I started with ESL classes. And being in the team, being in the soccer team also helped me to build my English. and. Finally, I, I was able to change from another school. Yeah, and it's fair to say that just playing with your teammates just helped build your language up just because even though you don't speak English, you speak soccer. So you understood <laughs> that. So yes. that's, that's great to see. And also, like we said earlier, that you're playing amazing this, uh, this season. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your off season, how you prepped uh, for the Maple Leafs? Um, because I was in a junior college and I knew that I would come to like a four year school in AA, so I knew that I would have to build my body and my physical more and more. So every day I was running like two or three miles a day to try to be ready for the game. I also practiced some ball skills and I'm glad that it worked. <laughs> um, I had some, a couple of games that was very good that I, I had some assistance and some goals to help the team. Yeah, and uh, do you happen to have like a favorite player you like to look at? Like try to you try to like match your game with, try to like try to just like put it on the field for you. Wow, many actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, on the woman's side, I always look for like some medium fields from my my country in Brazil, like Formiga, and also when I look up from the men's side, I see um, Cristiano Ronaldo, of course, and Casemiro, one of the medium fields from Real Madrid. Yeah, and uh, your team's currently six and three and one and one in conference. Uh, what do you think your team has to do to enable to keep this success going? Like, what do you have to work on to try to keep getting wins? Um, the team has been, like, doing great. We had, like, um, five wins in a row. And, unfortunately, we lost against Grace, but it was a great game. Like, 2-1, they made a goal in the end of the game. I think it was, like, five minutes to the end of the game. Um, everyone is very connected in the, in the team, and we practice very hard every day. So we just have to keep building this and keep with the mindset of winning and winning. And I'm sure we're going to do a, a great season and good great games in the conference. Yeah, and your head coach, Justin Crew, he's fairly new into his second season. And how do you feel about his practice uh, schedule? Do you feel like that um, he's, ba he's basically he's pushing you just right enough where you guys still have enough energy to perform in the game? Coach Crew is great. Um, we had always, like, 
uh, physical practice with a lot of a lot of tense intensity, and it's great that he talked with us. And if we have some questions, we can just ask him. He's gonna answer, and he's showing the game for us also like um, good mindset to the games and be strong and always like thinking winning and winning and it's good. And yeah, we have like six and three, I believe. It's it's great. Yeah, and final question is um, you had a, a huge game for the goal for the gold match. Can you tell us a little bit about that overtime goal you're able to sink in? <laughs> was great. Um, it's nice to help my team, you know? Like, we, like I don't play alone, of course. Like, we have more, like, the whole team is 22 girls. So every practice and um, every game, ever, like I said, everyone's very connected. And I was more than happy to make the goal of the winning. And, of course, I had help from the girls on the team that gave me the pass. Or one of the balls, for example, the girl passed for me and I crossed the ball. So Bags, one of the captains, she jumped in the front of the ball and kind of like messed it up with the keeper. So that's why I had to go in. So I'm not alone on that. Everyone helped. It was, was great. Yeah, well, you know, I just want to say thank you for coming down. Really appreciate it. And just good luck to the rest of your season. Thanks for having me. When we come back, I will cover the Maple Leaf events of the week. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. Let's have a look at your Maple Leafs in action. The women's volleyball team are in action tonight as they travel to Huntington University for a conference matchup, and that match starts at 7 o'clock. The men's soccer team is also in action tonight as they hit the road to take on the Taylor Trojans, with that match beginning at 7 o'clock. They will also be at home on Saturday for a homecoming weekend, taking on Marion University, and kickoff is set at 1 o'clock. The women's soccer team will be at home tonight as they square off against the Taylor Trojans. The match will start at 7.30, and the team will also be on the road on Saturday as they travel to Marion University to take on the Knights, and that game will start at noon. And finally, the men's and women's cross-country teams will travel to Louisville, Kentucky as they compete in the Louisville Sports Commission Classic. The men will start at 9.30 a.m., and the women will follow right after. Thank you for watching this episode of the Glow Sports Corner. Be sure to follow us on social media, Follow our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe and check out our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on The Globe Sports Corner.